Because I think it's been amazing for 30 years, and I think one of the things which excites me most in the last few years is the development that came out of IBM Zurich. All these structures of molecules, that, uh, you know, simple molecules, complicated molecules, that they've imaged with amazing uh, resolution. That is really exciting. And that's going to take us a long way. The combination of AFM as a structural imaging tool and measuring properties, photonic properties, optical properties, whatever, thermal properties, essentially have to structure functional relations at the atomic scale. I think that's the really exciting part to this. One single thing. I think there's a whole bunch of things that have been really exciting in the sense of measuring you know, uh, charge separation at the atomic scale, being able to measure mechanical properties, down to nanometers, seeing you know, dislocations, forms, how stuff breaks from atomic scale. Um, so, so it's, it's a whole, I would not, I don't know the criteria to make the signal on one specific thing, but I think structure function relations at the atomic scale is ultimate material science. That's really exciting. temperature, liquids, electrochemical control, biological control, and, and, and begin to, essentially I think the major breakthrough if I compared to 25 years ago when I started grasping the AFM is microfabrication. So I can actually make cantilevers batch fabricated that have identical properties. Otherwise, these handmade cantilevers are kind of a problem. So I think uh, technology combined with advances in uh, Computer science, modeling, combined with experimental instrumentation uh, advances, so instrumentation drives uh, new discoveries. Essentially.